Hey guys, today we're talking about 10 trends coming in really hot for winter 2021. Let's get into it. So although a lot of us are not living the same lifestyle that we lived last year, you know, things have changed, fashion is still going on. And when I have a chance, I definitely still make an effort to get dressed. I really try and get dressed every day. And there's no reason to not enjoy some parts of fashion that you love. You don't have to be on every single trend, but if there are any pieces from this list I'm talking about today and you love them, you should definitely rock them. I'm gonna leave links down below, so let me know which ones are your favorite. So number one for winter 2021 is definitely going to go to capes. Right off the bat, they just look fashionable. They look sophisticated and they look high fashion. Capes are all over the runway. They're not necessarily new. And a lot of the trends that I'm mentioning here today, it's not that they're new, right? They just started coming out. It's just that right now, they're really at the forefront of what's trending. You know, we've been seeing capes for a couple seasons now, but now we're really seeing them all over the runways in a lot of different collections by a lot of different fashion designers. I am a huge, huge fan of capes because I love the idea of throwing something on that just makes your outfit. And this is something I touch on a lot in my videos. It's like if you have nothing to wear, but then you just have that one piece that just puts your whole outfit together, suddenly you're just really stylish. I love that. I love that effortless style that is still so high fashion looking. And there's nothing more high fashion to me right now than a cape, especially a long cape, a dramatic cape, but like honorable mention to little capelets, which I featured in my previous video. I love a little capelet too. Very much on trend, very much always in fashion, but like I said, it's kind of at the forefront of what's trending right now. The capes, the capelets, it just adds drama. It adds a dramatic element to any outfit. I mean, you could be so head to toe decked underneath and that cape just takes it one notch above, you know? And then you could be kind of simple, classic, or capsule wardrobe, all plain, monochrome, all black, and then a cape, and it's just fashionable. There's just no other word for it. It's just, it's more than stylish. It's just elegant fashionable and for that reason number one is definitely going to go to capes for what's hot and trending winter 2021. Number two is going to go to patchwork. So this is something that is very very 90s. When I think of patchwork I think of patchwork jeans, jackets, skirts, school bags from the 90s like I remember them and it's kind of back in a new way. We're seeing like 2021 styles of denim but with that patchwork fashion element to it we're seeing silk patterns and it's just kind of like one of those trends that's very hot right now but it's not something that you can really call classic whereas like number one a cape it's kind of something you can always wear it might not always be at the forefront of fashion but it's something you can always wear as opposed to this patchwork trend which is very much trending right now so it's like one of those things where if I really wanted to be on this trend, I'd buy like one or two max pieces of this trend. I wouldn't go crazy gangbusters on this because it's definitely something very much right now. Um, it is really, really cool. I've seen it styled in a lot of really cool ways. I love that this could be styled in a rugged way, very street style, very street wear. And then I also love that it can be done in a very high fashion way. You know, it's just a matter of how you interpret fashion and how you express yourself through fashion. So this is a trend that I think is really, really cool, but I just don't think it's here for the long run. Number three is gonna have to go to short cropped cardigans. Again, super, super 90s, reminds me of very Cher and Clueless. Like I am just seeing cropped open cardigans everywhere. I think they are so, so cute. The picture that I'm seeing in my mind, and I'm, I hope I can pull up a photo to show you exactly what I'm thinking in my mind, but when I think of a uh, cropped cardigan, very 90s, like hair with like two clips here, maybe flipped out at the bottom, and maybe a choker, maybe not, and just like exposing the belly a little open down the chest and like maybe a skirt or jeans probably like high-waisted looser fitting jeans with some running shoes 
Um, it's just such an image I have in my mind, but this is styled in so many different various ways. It's a trend that's just so, so happening right now. And I kind of love this trend because this doesn't have to be something that you buy and you can only wear now because it's only trending now. This is something that you can layer. So you can work this into your outfit in so many different ways. You can wear a cropped cardigan, non-cropped at all. You can wear a tank top with it over and open where you're not exposing any skin, but you still have that cardigan with you. Just a beautiful layering piece for like a white collared blouse. Even a blouse like this lily silk blouse would be just like such a beautiful combination with a cropped cardigan. And I absolutely love it on its own as well. So something I would absolutely wear with a pair of hoops kind of like this, maybe a choker, maybe my hair up in a pony. You know, it's just, it's pretty versatile. It's really cute. And I think it's something that you can kind of always have in your wardrobe. So I think this is a really great trend for winter 2021. Number four is going to go to fringe. Fringe, everything, and not just fringe, because we've seen fringe for several seasons now, but like over the top fringe, like crazy, dramatic, extreme fringe. You know, fringe is never not going to be around, especially with the rock community and people that have like a very 70s fashion sensibility, because there's a lot of people who still really vibe with 70s fashion. And something about 70s fashion, as much as it's very in 70s era, and it's not considered classic. There's never a time where somebody's wearing a fringe leather jacket and a pair of flares or bell bottoms and they look out of place. It's still cool. It's still fashionable, even if it's not cutting edge fashion. But right now, fringe is very much cutting edge. Long fringe dresses, skirts, jackets, even fringe on purses. I mean, Valentino made a fringe purse several seasons ago. It's so much a vibe right now. And when you think of fringe, like when I think of fringe, like I said, I do think of like a rock and roll kind of fringe, like a leather jacket fringe, but I don't always think of it as like flapper fringe. So, so there's also that element of fringe, like the flapper era, where it's all about those dainty, but sway, sway, -y, sway. <laughs> fringy dresses. So it's kind of like fringe all across the board, very, very much a trend for winter 2021. And I think this will last definitely a couple seasons, if not more. Number five is going to go to faux fur. Now, I know a lot of people have a problem with fur. And, you know, I mentioned in a video that I made previously that I just kind of am over fur. I do have a couple fur pieces in my closet that I'll continue to wear because I have them, but I'm not going to go out and buy fur again. If anything, I'd like to get rid of a couple fur things that I have um, and donate them. But, you know, a lot of people still very much are into fur. However, I, I really feel like the trend is moving away from that. And this faux fur trend does confirm that. The thing is, a lot of people have mentioned to me in the comments, which I was unaware of and I appreciate, that faux fur is actually also not a better option necessarily, not for the environment, not for sustainability or humanity, because you know, there's the one angle of real fur, you know, made from animals, and then the faux fur, many of the faux fur options that we see are actually made out of like plastic, not very sustainable material. So um, I really don't know how to feel on this subject, but I do know that faux fur is very much trending for winter 2021. People want to stay warm and stylish. They don't necessarily want to wear like a dead carcass on their body. Um, and they feel a little bit better about it wearing a faux fur. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I don't really know that much about it myself. I always love to learn more, so if you have any insight, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Uh, but regardless, faux fur most definitely a hot trend coming in for winter 2021. Number six is going to go to statement cutout pieces, and I'm not talking about your standard cold shoulder top, which I think is a little bit of uh, something in the past, although I still have some cold shoulder tops that I'll wear because I still like them, but I don't think they're at the forefront of fashion anymore. Um, so when I say statement cutouts, I'm talking about like really dramatic cutouts, a lot in dresses. In fact, we did see a lot of swimwear cutouts last season and the season before for the summer swimwear collections. And I think some of that has moved over onto the runway into clothing, a lot of cutout tops, dresses, um, even cut out jeans. I just think it's all about being edgy and sexy and almost just like pushing the sex level a bit, you know, the sexiness where it's just like 
on the cusp, but not quite at raunchy level yet. I actually love it because I love a little edginess. I love sexiness. Um, and I really love the cutout trend. I think it's super, super feminine and sexy. And I think if you style it with fashion in mind, it's not going to look necessarily scandalous or like I said, raunchy. I think this can be styled really, really well. I really, really love this trend. This is again something I don't think is going to last that long. I think it's hot right now. It'll maybe go on to next season, but I don't think it's something that's gonna be long lasting or here to stay. I think this trend comes from a little bit of 90s and 80s inspo, and I, I just don't think it's something that's gonna last, but definitely hot right now. Number seven is going to go to another sweater, but not a cardigan. This time I'm talking about sweater vests. A lot of sweater vests I've seen are like in a black and white check, like very, very, oh my God. It's just, I just feel like it's all so 90s. And when I think about this style, I am literally like picturing one of those dweebs from like Saved by the Bell and their sweater vests. I don't know, the sweater vests that are really hot right now, especially are like not fitted at all. They're actually very loose fitting. Um, they kind of cut at the shoulder and they're kind of like a boxy shape. Um, to be honest with you, I don't totally love this trend. The main reason that I don't love it is probably because I just don't think it would suit me or my body. For me, it would make me look boxy, but I think for like someone who's like maybe taller and broader, it could be quite flattering. It's not a trend that I love. It's a trend that I, I think, again, is very, very much right now. Definitely, definitely not a classic. If you Think about this trend, it's kind of like a little hype beastie, which we've seen in the past with like dad sneakers and like tiny little sunglasses. And you know, as I always say on my channel, you know, if you love something, whether it's considered in or out, you should definitely still wear it. I actually still love the mini sunglasses, even though they're on the way out. Um, but I, I find this sweater vest hype beastie a little bit like that. It's just a vibe right now. It's definitely not gonna last. And it's definitely not for everyone. Like I can just see that it's kind of like a select fashionista that would rock this. You know, someone maybe that likes to be on the latest trends or someone that just genuinely really loves it for their shape and how it looks on them. But regardless, it's kind of almost like a fad for 2021, just for the fact that I just think this is just gonna be out almost before it's in. Next, I wanna talk about another trend that I personally love. I know it's not for everybody, um, but this is kind of like the, uh, ooh, how do I even, I guess like, <laughs> uh, not naked, like kinda naked, the naked but not naked, like the undressed, the bustier, the, okay, so listen, this is, I've talked about this in previous videos because this is something that girls always wear. This can always be high styled in a very fashionable way. I've seen this on the runway in many collections, but it is just very, very, very much right now, 2021, where it's just like all about the naked but not naked. Now, last year I did a video, Trends Coming In Hot for 2020, and I referenced this trend of like long sheer dresses with like just boy shorts or underwear underneath and a bra and it's just like see-through and it's just the dress. Um, that's still kind of a thing right now. So that it kind of goes hand in hand with this. It's a trend that's definitely continued on to 2021, now even more so with the corset bustiers, which again, ha we're around for a few seasons already. People have always kind of been rocking this vibe, but we're seeing it so much more on the runways right now. Um, this is something that Dolce & Gabbana has always done. I know a lot of people hate Dolce & Gabbana, they're canceled, whatever, but it's kind of always been a part of their fashion house and their fashion aesthetic. You can actually wear it and make it look, you know, sexy, but still classy. It's styled in so many different ways that I've seen on the runway with like long skirts, with big jackets. I think it's really, really beautiful. I don't think it's for everybody. A lot of people don't like this trend at all. They think it's too risque. They think you should definitely cover up. But I think if it's styled properly, it could be done really well. And it's a trend I definitely, definitely love for 2021 and beyond. Number nine is going to go to floor length coats. Honestly, when I think of floor length coats, I think of 90s movies from my childhood when the parents would go out and they'd get a babysitter, like Adventures in Babysitting or something. <laughs> Who watched that movie? And like the late 80s or 90s mom would wear like big earrings, a bit of a frizz hairdo, and then this like long floor length jacket. 
I mean, that's, that's just, oh, it's just crazy. Like all these fashion trends are so, it's just like everything constantly repeats. I think a lot of times fashion comes back in a new way, in a bit of a different way. It's not always exactly the same from that era. And this is a perfect example of that. The long coats, they're not quite the same as they were, um, but they're very, very much in trend. It's like all about the maxi coat, you know, not just a long coat, but a maxi coat, like a floor length coat it's very dramatic much like the cape it just makes your outfit you might have something not so special underneath or maybe something just a little bit simple underneath and you throw that huge floor length maxi coat on and you really instantly do look stylish i mean i've talked about max mara coats a lot on this channel i absolutely love max mara and i've also seen some really really cool styles from zara as well for obviously a much more affordable price point i think the maxi coat is very very cool but it's different than the cape to me because i think that after a few seasons this might look dated and it might look like you know how i feel when i'm referencing those 90s movies the women like they look like they're in that era they look like they're in that time it's not like something i see where i'm like oh i would so wear that you know this is kind of one of those styles that is just kind of for the era this is not something that's so new i've been seeing floor length maxi coats for years and years i think you know there's always like the fashionistas that are up on these trends and then there's the masses when it becomes really really mainstream which is why we are seeing them at places like zara and h&m because when it's past the like high fashion point that's when it's really like hot and trending but a lot of these pieces mentioned here today are very high fashion and it's all about how you style it it's just in the forefront of hot fashion for winter 2021 right now and last but not least is number 10 and that is just simply going to go to the color pastel yellow i've just been seeing so much pastel yellow i feel like every season there's a color and it's kind of something i've never really understood about fashion like who decides let's just put so much yellow in our collection this season and then like every other designer seems to be also doing that color like who tells them, use yellow guys, you gotta use yellow in your collection this season. I just, it's crazy to me. I never ever care about colors of the season. If I love it, I'm gonna wear it. If I don't love it, I'm not going to. If I found a beautiful muted pastel yellow piece, I would definitely rock it. But if it was in purple or green, I would rock it as well. It doesn't really matter, but it definitely is something that's trending for 2021. So I really did wanna mention it. And that pretty much wraps up this whole entire list. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you enjoyed it too. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this trend report, which ones are your favorite, which ones are your least favorite. You guys know I always love hearing from you. And as always, I'll be back really soon with another really great video, and I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.